gathered here are young women, including core members, and a few male counterparts who recognize the untapped potentialities of young women as a catalyst for change in the ever-evolving digital landscape. Organized by the Office of the Senior Special Assistant to the President on Citizenship and Leadership on behalf of the federal government, the program marks a pivotal moment for gender parity and empowerment to address long-standing challenges and break the gender gap in leadership. This event is all the more important because we have a president who is committed to gender mainstreaming, as evidenced by the appointment of an unprecedented number of women into key positions. An administration of many firsts, the president has also appointed women to head agencies like NIPOST, FAN and NEMA, among others, for the very first time in our history. I have a confidence to convey this conference because I know that my principal, President Bola Ahmed Ibo, is a true he for she champion in every sense of the word. And he has not only appointed women for the sake of tokenism, he has placed highly qualified and competent women in important positions. Someday, God willing, we will have ministers, directors general, executive secretaries, presidential aides, lawmakers, presiding officers, deputy governors, governors, vice presidents, presidents, captains of industry, and highly successful business owners and homemakers from among the young women who are sitting here today. Representative of the National Information Technology Development Agency, NITDA, reveals that a strategy is in place to address the challenges hindering women's full participation in leadership through the digital economy. According to the agency, eliminating gender disparity in the use of technology is critical for the reduction of inequality in societies and the agency is committed to building a discrimination-free nation regardless of gender, physical condition, geographical location, or status, all in a bid to align with the present Renewed Hope agenda. NIDA bears a responsibility to encourage and coordinate transformative digital innovation at a national level. The agency has taken the necessary steps to create an enabling environment that maximizes the potential of women, girls, and other unserved communities in Nigeria and promotes their ability to contribute to the economy. Representatives from the Ministry of Youth reiterate the ministry's unwavering support to ensure that young women are given their rightful place in the society so they can make impact. I want to assure the special advisor on behalf of the minister and the Minister of State, that the entire ministry is behind you in all your allowable initiatives that we have. We are very supportive of whatever you are doing and will continue to collaborate with you. Uh, the ministry is always there for you uh, and we key into all your initiatives to ensure that uh, we expand the frontiers for our young people in Nigeria. The transformative dialogue aims to unlock women's potentialities and arm them with the tools to leverage power, solve difficult problems, master successful negotiation tactics that will enable professional growth and propel them to the position of influence to impact the nation.